my new video, Better Than I Know Myself, um, I'm actually playing dark and light sides of myself. Uh, not good and bad necessarily, because I kind of think one of the cool things about the video is it's basically saying that like, it's not black and white, you know? Um, you know, even in the darkness, there's something alluring or sexy or redeeming about that side. And then the light side, you know, he's really zen and he's really content and happy with everything, but he's a little boring. So um, I think, you know, I think there's some kind of gray area in between. I think this album, in comparison to the last one, is, is very honest. It's a little more earthy and kind of grounded. You know, it wasn't like a conscious transformation or anything, but I, I don't know, I'm just, I think with the last album and the whole last campaign, I was really enjoying kind of paying tribute to glam rock and like doing the real over the top, like late 70s, early 80s thing with the makeup and the glitter. And, and over the past year while working on this album, I've just found that like, I don't really feel like dressing that way anymore. I just, like most people, we just evolve and change our tastes. And I've been kind of interested in feeling a little more comfortable. And, you know, I still like, I'm still weird compared to the next guy, but you know, a, a little more, it's organic glam. That's what I'm calling it, organic glam. <laughs> Pharrell Williams, a uh, big turning point working with him on this album. I went to Miami and I remember thinking, I'm not cool enough to be here in his studio. What the hell am I doing here? And uh, within like the first five minutes, we started talking about life and kind of like our philosophy on life and, and the music industry and, and what we love about music and our favorite artists. And we came to this kind of this really great common ground and started writing after that. He kind of opened the door to like a little more of a funk kind of feel. And um, that's the kind of music I've always loved, you know, growing up with Michael Jackson and Prince and listening to a lot of stuff in the 90s, like house music. And I, I never really necessarily thought that's where I was gonna go on this album, but the minute we started uh, creating that kind of music, it felt really natural.